this week at Upper Room. His word was in mine heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. Be sure to join us for the initial sermons of the men and women in ministry to be held this evening at 6 p.m. in the sanctuary. The speakers will be Minister Corey Durham, Minister Jarek McClendon, Minister Bryson Smith, Missionary Maisha McGilvery, Missionary Tracy Miller, Missionary Imani Rayford, Missionary Selena Roberts, and Missionary Yvonne Smith. Upper Room Men's Department President Elder Anthony M. Wilson is asking every man to meet him Tuesday morning, August 27th at 6 a.m. for the fourth Tuesday morning prayer. The number to participate is 701-791-9304 and an access code is not required. Our 13-week prayer campaign continues Tuesday night, August 27th at 7.30 p.m. with the Men's Department. Meet us in the sanctuary as we pray for our leader, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. Prayer points include the Lord's will be done, favorable outcome, continue peace in the election process, and that every campaign need will be met. Additionally, all men are asked to stay for the fourth Tuesday night men's meeting to begin at 8 p.m. after the campaign prayer. The Upper Room Riders are inviting all men to participate in Bishop Wooden's Pastoral Anniversary Bicycle Ride to be held Saturday, September 7th at 5.30 p.m. The goal of this outing is fellowship, so bicycle type and ability are not factors, but please be sure to wear a helmet for safety. The location will be the WRAL Soccer Complex in the parking lot towards the back, and refreshments will be provided immediately following the event. Extra, extra, read all about it. Evangelism needs you. Evangelize, mobilize, and get ready to share the gospel and win souls. Meet us every fourth Sunday at 1 p.m. in your respective zone or team in Raleigh. For questions, please contact Elder Jerome King, Elder Carl Reeves, or Elder Alvin Geiger. North Carolina Third Jurisdiction Kojic Academy is now accepting applications for enrollment. Tuition is $225 per semester, and new students must submit a $50 non-refundable fee with their application. The final day to submit an application is Sunday, September 8th, with classes beginning Saturday, September 14th. To enroll or for additional information, visit nc3rd.org or send an email to infotech.nc3rdca at gmail.com for an application. Join the Upper Room Church of God in Christ every Sunday at 11 a.m. and Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. for the live stream of our services on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will bring a fresh word from the Lord relevant to our times and equip you to contend for the faith. Thank you to our viewers throughout the United States and abroad for your weekly support of our broadcast. The Upper Room Church of God in Christ can be seen every Sunday morning over the air from 11 a.m. to noon on MyRDC. If you're unable to join us in person or watch our live stream, we have you covered. Turn on your television and get ready for a full hour of the God First experience. Visit MyRDCTV.com for additional information. Giving is now better and easier. The Upper Room Church has moved to PushPay for online giving. Please use the following PushPay methods for online giving. Text GIVE to 877-727-0402, scan the QR code, visit our giving page at upperroomgospel.org, or mail your gift to Post Office Box 447, Garner, North Carolina, 27529. The methods of giving are also located on the back of the new church envelopes. Thank you for helping us make a successful transition to push pay. Early bird registration is open now through August 31st for Women's Weekend 2024. Scan the QR code, visit the Upper Room app under events, or check your inbox for the registration link and additional details. Don't wait, register now. First Lady Pamela Wooden will be the speaker for the Triad District Women's Weekend Bride of Christ Brunch to be held Saturday, September 7th at 11 a.m. The event will take place at the Curry Convention Center located at 3121 West Gate City Boulevard in Greensboro. The cost of the luncheon is $32. Scan the QR code to register or reference the flyer for additional information. Bishop Wooden, my spiritual father, my pastor, my leader. I just want to tell you with uh, your upcoming anniversary, 
how much I truly appreciate you. You've been a spiritual father, as I said to me, my wife. Uh, it was no mistake that the Lord sent us here. We knew when we came, you know, my wife was a little nervous about coming to the Church of God in Christ. She'd never experienced that. But the transition was very smooth. I was familiar with you from the 88, 1988, when I first got here at Seymour Johnson, a young airman, about the third week in December of 1988, a uh, young lady, Terry Fisher, uh, came and picked me up from Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, brought me to a service that weekend. You were not 30 years old yet, and I was just amazed over at Lake Wheeler Road. I called my parents and told them, I said, you know, uh, the pastor of Terry Fisher's new church, I said, he sounds like he's maybe a 60-year-old seasoned bishop. I said, this man is not 30 years old, but he preached the house down. We, we shouted on that wooden floor, and I just had a time. And had I been in Raleigh, I'm pretty sure I would have joined that Sunday. But uh, the Lord saw fit some maybe 12 years later to bring us together here in Raleigh. And uh, I haven't been the same. My thinking has changed. One thing I appreciate about your preaching, sir, and your teaching is that we leave thinking. Uh, even my quiet wife, she, she leaves thinking. We often, you know, talk to each other after services and say, you know, what do you think about that? You heard that? And, and it's always applicable to our lives. And for that, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. And stay on the wall, man of God. I, I don't see you coming down, but I still want to encourage you to stay on the wall. Uh, and I also appreciate you allowing me to serve in the capacity that I serve in. You know, it's a privilege and an honor to serve in the music ministry uh, as an elder. Uh, I appreciate that, and I serve at your pleasure, and I, I'm honored. And I ask you again to stay on the wall, man of God. We love you and First Lady and the First Family. And again, happy anniversary, Bishop. Hello, I'm Elder Scott Green. And I'm his wife, Evangelist Jacqueline Green. Bishop Wooden, you say to the new members, follow me as I follow Christ. Well, consistently you have been preaching the unadulterated word of God, as well as ta willingly taking a stance against those issues that affect the body of Christ. We have seen that throughout and during our 26 years under your leadership. It means a lot to us to have a leader like you that will preach against sin. We have seen you stand the test of time, and we pray always that you will continue to stand flat-footed and stand on the wall as never before. Amen. Bishop, over the past 20 years, you afforded me the opportunity to work in the studio. And while doing so, I had the opportunity to edit thousands of your messages to be aired on WPJL for six days a week. Also, I had the opportunity to record and to edit your singing. And what I found is that most of your songs line up with your message, and it takes a lot of hard work to do that. Bishop, I have a few words that I would like to use to describe who you are. Number one, you are a hard worker. Amen. You are a workman unto God. Amen. Number two, you are a man given to study. It's evident by the messages that you preach from Sunday, Thursday, weekend and week out, mm -hmm. and even on conferences. And by doing so, you're able to rightly divide the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2 and 15 says, Study to show thyself approved, a workman unto God, that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Yeah. Bishop, you have done that yes. consistently. Lastly, Bishop, I believe that you are a sanctified preacher. And I believe that our Lord praying to the Father in John 17 and 17, when he said, Sanctify them through thy truth, Amen. thy word is truth. I believe you being a workman unto God, studying to show yourself approved, and being able to rightly divide the word of truth, also being a sanctified preacher. All of these things have afforded you the opportunity down through the years to be wood and solid. Amen. Bishop, on behalf of my wife and I, we would like to say, we, we love you and happy anniversary. anniversary. God bless. Join us as we celebrate the 37th pastoral anniversary of Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., Sunday, September 15th. We're pleased to welcome guest speakers Bishop Oscar Benton Jr. from the India 6th Jurisdiction for the 8 a.m. service and Bishop Paul Harmon from the Maryland Eastern Shore Jurisdiction for the 11 a.m. service. 